Hello friends, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video demonstration, we are going to see the steps to schedule automatic backup in Windows Server 2016. Windows Server 2016 users know that backup Windows Server 2016 can prevent many disasters. For example, system crash which can bring a large damage for you. So you should know that it is necessary to backup Windows in time to prevent from the next accident. However, backup day by day is a very tedious thing and you may forget to do it sometime. What if some bad things happen during the time you forget backing up? The important data may be lost therefore, thus you may ask whether there is a way to backup Windows Server 2016 automatically or not. Fortunately, you can make a scheduled backup of Windows Server 2016. Windows Server has a built-in backup tool called Windows Server Backup feature. Before using it, you can check whether it is installed or not. If not, then you need to install it before. For this demonstration, already I installed a Windows Server Backup feature on this computer. You can install Windows Server Backup feature by clicking on Add Roles and Features. Click on Next. Select Role Base of Feature Base Installation, then click on Next. Select your server, then click on next. Click on next on select server rule. And from select feature, you have to select a Windows Server backup feature. And as you can see, this feature is already installed on this server. Let's click on cancel. And now let's click on tools and select Windows Server backup to open Windows Server backup manager console. Now as you can see, here we have a total two types of backup options available. Backup once and backup schedule. In the last video demonstration, this is the steps to backup once a Windows Server 2016 computer. But in this video demonstration, we are going to use backup schedule options. To make an automatic schedule backup for Windows Server 2016, we have to select backup schedule options. That will launch the backup schedule wizard. Click on next to getting start wizard. On this screen, we can choose to backup all the server data, application and system state by full server or only custom volumes and files for backup by selecting custom options. For this demonstration, I am going to use full server and that is also recommended. Let's click on next. On this screen, we have to specify the backup time. The by default option selected is once and the time is 9 pm. Here you can set once a day or more than once a day options. Now for this demonstration, I am going to select 11 pm. Okay, click on next. Here it is asking us to specify the location where you want to store your backup. The first option selected is backup to a hard disk that is dedicated for backup and that is recommended. Second, we have options to store backup on any other volume. Third option is to store your backup on a shared network folder. But for this video demonstration, I already attached one hard disk to our Windows Server 2016 computer. Let's open disk management. And here you can see we have a one disk named disk1. And on the disk, already I created one partition with drive letter E. So we want to store our backup on this partition. Let's close this. Let's close this console as well and we are going to select backup to a hard disk that is dedicated for backup options. Click on next. Okay, here we are receiving one warning, no external disk or disk attached to USB or IEEE 1394. Let's click on show all available disk and select the disk which we have attached to our server. Okay, and select the disk and then click on next. Now here we are receiving one message. It is telling us you have included volume, new volume E in the list of items to be packed up. However, it is on disk 1, which is specified as a backup storage destination. Do you want to remove this volume from backup? Yes, we want. Let's click on OK. And here we are receiving another message. When you finish this wizard, the selected disk will be reformatted and all the accessing volumes and data on the disk will be deleted. To enable users to move backup offsite for a disaster protection and to ensure backup integrity, the entire disk will be dedicated for storing the backups 
and will not be visible in the file explorer. Click on yes to continue. Okay, let's click on finish. Okay, in a summary, we can see the status. You have successfully created the backup schedule. Your first scheduled backup will happen at 4 4 2017, 11 p.m. Let's click on close. And let's open File Extruder. And as you can see, there is no e drive available under File Extruder. Let's open Desk Management Snapping. And here we go. Now, here we can see we have a disk one, but as you can see, the name is different and there is no drive data. So this is the way how we can schedule automatic backup in Windows Server 2016 using Windows Server backup feature. That concludes the video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.